Hello there, and welcome to another Leadership Reflection. Today our topic is about following systems made by man and those made by God. And I find this an important subject because of this, the type of reflections we are doing. Uh, because for the most part I'm teaching about leadership systems and we are studying leadership systems together. So it is important to understand uh, the difference between going under a system versus operating within a godly system. So let's try to learn something about that today. And this, uh, I'll take a side topic. At first, this may help you understand this more at large. But I want to speak first about the ministry of the Holy Spirit as a teacher versus a man as a teacher. Because from the Bible, we see both. Jesus said that he, speaking of the Holy Spirit, will teach you and will bring to your remembrance everything that I said unto you. And Holy Spirit is our primary teacher. And he gives us revelation. He shows us things. He gives us the wisdom of God. Uh, shows us the wisdom of God, more like. And that is like our primary source of godly understanding. But then uh, it is also said that Jesus went to heaven and gave gifts to men. And some he gave prophets and some apostles, some pastors, some teachers, and some evangelists and so on. So why do we have the ministry of teacher if Holy Spirit is our teacher? Interesting question, right? Um, now, here's what I think about that, and let's reflect on that together, whether that's correct or not. But I believe, believe there's godly revelation behind that. So, what I would say a teacher is, he is a facilitator of learning. Uh, still kind of right, probably while while speaking but anyway there it is learning facilitator and the learning itself happens through the holy spirit but um the teacher's job so to speak is to facilitate that learning so for example what the teacher can do is to present ideas or propositions from the bible or or for example, draw some summaries from the Bible or what the Holy Spirit has revealed to them and say, hey, this and this and these things are related in the scriptures like this. Let me explain this to you so you can understand, so you can form this neural network in your mind as well. But then the Holy Spirit comes along and says either, yes, this is right, I witness to this, I give you a confirmation, accept this. Or he might say, well, this, this grieves me, this part. I don't like this. This is what he made up himself. Uh, reject this. Or he might give you additional revelation. Like, hey, here's what he showed you about these things. But let me show you this. There's also this. And this whole area works like this. And actually, when I created the world, it went like this. So he can give you additional revelation. But he kind of explains on the existing data, so to speak. Typically, he would take something that's already in existence and then teach you something about it. For example, uh, you might be reading a book and the Holy Spirit might be teaching you through that book, like saying, you know, what do you think I thought when I did that, you know, if you're reading the Bible, for example, or what do you think he says that, or have you considered this, and that sort of thing. You know, he's there personally teaching you about that. But the teacher, also operating in the Holy Spirit, uh, hopefully, <laughs> uh, helps you by presenting that data, hopefully operating in in kind of prophetic flow or 
or this Holy Spirit let flow in his ministry. So that is uh, how the teaching ministry operates. And next, uh, let's focus back on this topic of following God, uh, God systems versus following the systems of man. So uh, I probably cut this video here and see you in that video specifically here. Oh, wait. Uh, here, I guess. Here, I guess. Next video. <laughs> mm -hmm. See you there.